Hello, and welcome to the 2023-2024 Winter Market Update from Touchstone Pistachio Company. In this market update, we will cover a snapshot of 2023 crop receipts, the January year-to-date export shipments by region, as well as the top five export markets and the United States. We will provide an analysis on the 2024 crop indicators and provide our views on pricing and trends. Lastly, we will share predictions of the upcoming 2024 crop. The 2023 pistachio crop was one for the records. Coming in at an astonishing 1.49 billion pounds, it is the largest crop in the history of U.S. pistachios by a considerable 27%. There are two main contributors to the record-breaking crop, new bearing acres and an exceptional winter and spring season. Over 40,000 new bearing acres came online during last harvest season. These new acres alone yielded over 120 million pounds and accounted for roughly 8% of the crop. The weather in California last winter was truly astonishing. It was the second best on record in the last 20 years. The combination of consistent cool weather, more than ample chilling hours, and a substantial amount of rainfall led to a crop that exceeded all expectations. Close shell yields this year were below average at 11%. This year's lower close shell amounts puts overall supply equal to last year since we saw substantially higher yields in 2022. Consistent close shell supply year over year is positive for the industry. Global supply is up for the first time since 2020 at 2.28 billion pounds or 1.03 million metric tons. Supply this year is comparable to 2020's crop year. Available supply is only 1% larger than 2020. Both the United States and Iran had on crops, while Turkey saw lower yields due to weather conditions. This year, the U.S. pistachio crop made up roughly 65% of global supply, with Iran and Turkey comprising roughly 17% each. This slide reflects the year-to-date September to January export shipments by region. Shipments year-to-date are a positive story for pistachios. As of January 31st, 37% of this year's U.S. pistachio supply has shipped from California. Demand remains strong with consumption rising to match the increase in supply. Total export shipments exceeded 508 million pounds, which is 97% more than last year and 105% more than 2021. Shipments to every region are up, with deliveries to Asia and Europe more than double what they were same time last year. Asia has seen the most growth this crop year, with shipments totaling over 286 million pounds and comprising more than 55% of all export shipments. China is the leading country in this region, accounting for 78% of shipments year to date. Hong Kong, India, and Vietnam were sizable with 14 to 17 million pounds of shipments into each country. Vietnam continues to be a contending leader in the region with more than 14 million pounds shipped, a 56% increase from 2022. Deliveries to Europe are 125 million pounds to date and account for roughly 25% of export shipments this year. Shipments to almost every country are up double or triple digits. Germany remains in the forefront with over 48 million pounds shipped year to date. Spain remains high performing with a 76% increase from last year and over 15 million pounds shipped almost exclusively of inshell. Italy, with over 11 million pounds of deliveries, continues to guard its position as the third largest importing country of U.S. pistachios in Europe. The Middle East is up 70% in shipments versus last year, with Turkey, the UAE, and Saudi Arabia leading the demand. Shipments of over 31 million pounds to Turkey, largely of inshell, represent a 112% increase from last year. The UAE continues to be an emerging shipment zone. In the first five months of the crop year, over 15 million pounds have shipped. This is just 5 million pounds shy of what was shipped in the entire 2022 crop. In South and Central America, 
with competitive pricing and tighter availability from other origins, these markets saw their shipments increase to 2.5 million pounds, 80% more than 2022 and 111% more than 2021. Thanks to strong performances in Chile, Peru, Colombia, and Brazil. Shipments to North America are up 17% at over 19 million pounds, with both Mexico and Canada seeing increased volume. Oceana has seen the highest shipments year to date, with over 3 million pounds shipped. Volume is up 52% versus 2022. Shipments in the United States are down versus last year. Kernels continue to lead the category with an increase in shipments of 13%, while Inchel is down 6%. China, Germany, Turkey, Hong Kong, and Spain round out the top five export markets year to date. Shipments into each of the top five countries is almost exclusively of inshell. Over 90% of deliveries to each country have been inshell. Pistachio orchards go dormant in the winter months and require a certain amount of chilling hours to properly rest and rejuvenate. Ideal climate conditions in the winter months are cool and damp. The second best climate for pistachio trees is rain. Conditions in California this winter have been anything but ideal for pistachio orchards. Weather has been relatively mild with below average chilling hours and slightly below average precipitation. California had above average temperatures throughout December and January with temperatures reaching 78 degrees some days. Rainfall has been significantly lighter than last year, with less than five sizable storms to date. With just a few weeks until bloom, it is not likely that the pistachio orchards will get the ample chilling hours required for a good crop. This year, approximately 20,000 new acres will be harvested putting total U.S. bearing acres over 480,000. With the continuous new acres coming online year over year, there has been an assumption that there will be a consistent pistachio supply of over 1 billion pounds annually from California. This year, that may not be the case. With 2024 being an off crop and having such an undesirable winter, there is a possibility for the 2024 crop to be smaller than expected. Key questions to ask. What will the impact of a mild winter be on the crop? What will ounce counts be next year, similar to this year? Will close shell yields be below average again? More to come on this after the March bloom. As always, we want to clarify that these are price ranges heard in the industry of offers or indications or business concluded in the past few weeks. The in-shell market this crop year has been unlike any other. The crop year began with record low pricing at $3.15 per pound, with significant volume contracted at astonishingly low levels. Soon after these low prices hit the market, pricing rose 10 cents where it stayed for roughly two months. As the winter months of December and January progressed, Pricing rose as it became clear that chilling hours would be lower than desired. The market has continued to firm up in February. Current prices for InShell are indicated between $3.55 and $3.65 FAS, while we have heard of some deals done at higher levels in some cases. Most processors have been on and off the market periodically for the past few months. Most find themselves in a comfortably sold position. In shell availability is limited for large volumes, yet this does not mean that the 2023 crop is fully sold. Shipments for the first five months of the crop year account for only 37% of the total U.S. supply. Kernel demand is mild but consistent. Pricing remains stable and within a wide range of 25 cents. Kernel inventory is steady compared to 2022. This year's lower close shell yields on a larger crop yielded roughly the same amount of kernels as 2022's higher close shell yields on a lower volume crop. There is availability for whole kernels, while halves and pieces have little to no remaining inventory. 
new crop pricing will be dependent on crop size. This concludes our market update. For any questions, comments, or inquiries, please reach out to your sales rep below. Our next market update will be released in spring after the bloom. Thank you for your attention.